So a year or so ago, IDW jumped out and said, we're going to make Marvel Comics. Yes, IDW. If you didn't know who that is, that's a totally different comic book publisher than Marvel. Uh, There was a lot of speculation that maybe this was Marvel testing the waters and letting somebody else make their books, which I really don't think is that crazy of an idea that Disney might consider. It's called licensing. So IDW gets a couple of books. They're geared for, for really young kids. I want to point that out. Just like you see here, this is another line coming. IDW to tell Marvel origin stories to middle grade readers in new series. Now, theoretically, this really isn't that bad of an idea, though Marvel should be doing it, not IDW. I've always kind of stood on that. I don't understand why they're farming out their popular characters to another publisher, but whatever. Okay, I'm not going to get too much into this. They put the brand under this as Marvel Action. I don't know if they're calling... Yeah, they are. They're calling Marvel Action Origins. So, this isn't too bad of an idea. You got a bunch of young readers... They don't really know the origins of these characters, so you retell it in a modern setting. If they do it right, this is a pretty good idea to get new young people on board with your books. Now, (laughs) what's funny about this is what's going on with their main line. So this will be another line, I'm guessing. They have the regular Marvel Marvel action line, which I guess is uh, Black Panther, The Avengers, Spider-Man, and Captain Marvel. So they have that line of books and these are fine. I don't I don't have a problem with these books existing. I think it's a smart idea to make fun read like easy to read stories for young kids. I think it's what the the market should be doing because you really need them to grow the market and to have it survive. Now what's really funny about this is the Captain Marvel books. So as far as I can tell, 3 of them exist. Oh no, 4 of them exist. You can see it right here. And I want you to take note of the people that work on it. Sam Maggs and Sweeney Boo. Now, that's the funny part of this story. So, what's going on with Captain Marvel's Marvel action books? Now, these are the books I want you to remember are designed for the young kids. Well, uh, she's getting a relaunch already because the book failed miserably. Now, what's really funny about this and is very true to the Marvel, the new Marvel method for writing comics, is the same team is coming back. Sam Maggs and Sweeney Boo. I don't know if the colorist is coming back, but, okay, it does not look like the colorist is coming back, but they are bringing back the main artist and the writer to just try to get give it another shot. Why not? Let's just give it another shot. You didn't do well before. The book didn't sell before. No one picked it up before, but hey, why don't, you, why don't you come back, give it another old college try. Maybe this time we'll get 10, 20 more issues because, well, we're going to put a new number one on it, which is another scam that Marvel does quite often. Uh, they've been doing this for a long time, okay? And it's not just them. It's every comic book company that does this. But they do it a little bit more than others. So a comic will go for about 20-something issues, though it looks like this only went to four, which is pretty pathetic. Uh, they'll do, like, you know, anywhere between 10 to 25, 30 issues is usually the standard. And then they just go ahead and they, they say, all right, well, they're going to go ahead and uh, relaunch it, usually with a new team, and we're going to put a number one on it. It'll sell, it'll sell big. And it usually does, actually. It's, it's, it blows me away how books with number ones on it will still like sell like through the roof. It's like, don't you quite get that? This is like the 35th number one (laughs) for this title. Like it's not going to blow up and really, you know, make your bank account grow in a few years. If anything, you're losing money, but whatever. I, I don't, I don't get it, but it still works. So they'll put a number one on it. And maybe people will buy it. I don't know. Uh, I want to point out for those that don't know, just to make sure and double down on it. uh, This is the Marvel action Captain Marvel, not the main Captain Marvel comic, which is probably about due for a relaunch itself. (laughs) And when that happens, I'll make fun of that too. Because the books that do well don't get a relaunch on the 25th issue. Usually, 
They get about 100 issues in a run, and then they'll give it a number one. I wish they'd just keep the numbers going, but they do they do that to try to make the books accessible. That's kind of the reasoning behind that. Like Batman's over 100 issues now. It's probably going to relaunch under another number one, probably in a couple of months. That's a little bit better than doing it after 20 issues. <laughs> or in this case for Captain Marvel Returns, a uh, four. <laughs> This is the IDW sales site here, and they only have four issues listed. If there's more than that, I apologize, but what a disaster for this to have failed after four issues. Now, to be fair, I went and looked at the numbers for some of the other Marvel action comics, particularly Spider-Man. Those numbers weren't anything to cry home about either. (laughs) They weren't that great, but there's no big announcement for that book. It's just what I find funny about this is the fact that they're just continuing to double down on this character who just does not do well in the comics. And I still argue the popularity of this character in general. Okay. Uh, I really want to see how Captain Marvel does without being sandwiched in between two Avengers movies and the lie that this movie is needed to enjoy the, the movies. I'm really interested in Captain Marvel, too. Oh, by the way, big fan theory, which is probably likely true, that Captain Marvel 2 will be a mini Avengers movie. In similarity to Civil War, Captain or Captain America, if you remember, in Captain America 3, which was just called Civil War, you had every Avenger in it. Iron Man is ba- basically Iron Man 4 and Captain America 3. You might as well call it Captain America and Iron Man. Okay. I think they're going to do something like that. I think that that's likely true because they're they're very afraid to just put this character out in her own movie, in her own kind of, in her own spot with nothing attached to it. Imagine if it was just Brie Larson, Captain Marvel for a whole movie. No, no other Avengers. Nothing else going for it. It's not sandwiched in between two big blockbusters. You're not told that you need to desperately see it to understand what's going on. Um, I really wonder how those numbers will be for this movie. Though I guess we'll never know because this movie is likely going to be pushed onto a streaming service like Disney+. Plus, and we're not going to get to see it in the theaters. I, I think the theaters are likely going to be dead. But I, I, I think that this theory is likely true. We've heard rumors that Peter Parker is going to kind of be her sidekick in the movie and they'll just make fun of him the whole time. So they like, maybe this will be her putting the Avengers together, which would make it a must-see movie if you're really into the MCU. So you have to go see it. And then, of course, it'll get big box office if that is still a thing. So anyway, I just I find I find the doubling down and fake love for this character fascinating because... Nobody really likes her. The sales for the books and her merchandise prove it. But anyway, uh, we'll see how this goes. The numbers for comics are a little bit different now. They're a little harder to follow, but we'll see if uh, this works out. We get another number one. Maybe another number one will save the day for, for old Carol Danvers. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below, throw a like up, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.